Welcome, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind, time is fluid, so whenever you view this, it could represent past, present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you, and even if it does, we should check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I usually ask you guys over on Instagram what deck you want to see for your reading each week. I did, however, forget this week, and I decided it would be fun um, and kind of refreshing for me to intuitively choose each tarot deck for each zodiac sign. So today I chose the Wizards Tarot for you guys by Barbara Moore. All right. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Three of Cups. The moon card. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. Strong water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. With the Nine of Wands. The Temperance card. That is Sagittarian energy. You are in their intentions. And we have Three of Pentacles here. You could work with this person or know them somehow that way. And for some of you, Eight of Wands. There's communication here decision being made as well all right let's get started i'm going to read this like it's your energy and i'm going to read this like it's your person however because this is general that means the reading can be flipped or reversed sometimes as well the energies may scatter around a little bit starting here we have heart to heart conversations which says honestly discuss your feelings with each other so you may be looking for an opportunity here to speak your heart, really lay it on the line with this person. You know, this is how I'm feeling about you. This is what I would like to happen with us. You know, are you feeling the same way? Have that equal exchange of emotions. Maybe have them break the ice here. Maybe you're nervous to be the one initiating some of this. Maybe you've been waiting for this person to say that, right? Now we do have true love in their energy, which says this is the romance of a lifetime. So I do believe that they recognize this connection for what it is. This definitely feels like a very strong soulmate connection. Um, this person they're a little bit defensive for some reason so i am going to put this one scenario out there but this is not going to resonate for every single person some of you may already one of you or both of you may already be in other relationships it's for some of you others of you could be nervous because maybe this person is you know older than you or your boss maybe you guys work together or it's difficult for you know, whichever reason. I also want to say some of you may actually have mutual friends or something, or this could have been someone who maybe, again, I feel like this is very specific for someone. This could have been someone that maybe dated one of your friends previously, or some, or they're a friend of yours, and now you're afraid to take it to more, right? Because you're afraid of like what people are going to think or say, uh, or if it's going to ruin the connection. There's like a hesitation here. It's like, you know, if like this person, like the angels are divinely guided this, but this person's been hesitant or reluctant to talk about their feelings. Again, gender is irrelevant here, uh, but it just does show us, you know, a male who's kind of like deflecting, kind of looking away, but again, that could be reversed. For others of you, especially my male viewers, I want to say this. I want to say this to my male viewers. I feel like this person has tried flirting with you. Oh, yeah, hold on. But I don't think the way that they do, not that they're bad at it, but they try to be very subtle, okay? They don't want to just, you know, off the top, just like, bam, like, here it is. This is how, they're not going to do it like that, okay? They're not going to, you know what I mean? They're not going to be too much. They're going to be very subtle, very slow, very hesitant, um, for my male viewers, I feel like this person has tried flirting with you, but they, they're not being, you were, you were looking for like a neon flashing sign that said, yes, I definitely, I'm definitely into you before you decided to like push ahead. That's what I want to say. Um, but for my female viewers, I'm feeling it's like this person's been nervous to initiate something or say more because they don't know how you feel. But I mean, the angels are like, I mean, on both of these cards, they're kind of like, okay, 
It's time, guys. Come on, move it forward. This person's hesitant. There could be something holding this person back or they're fearful of people watching or being around or something. Uh, with the three of wands here, you're yearning, thinking about this person a lot. You know, waiting for them, waiting for your next opportunity to see them again. Maybe you don't get to see them every single day or spend a lot of time with them or something like that. You're hoping to run into them or, you know, I mean, hear from them. Now, you're hoping to kind of go out. You feel like when the two of you get to spend time together, that's where things really take off for the two of you. You know, even in a group set, I want to put this out there as well. For those of you who may be talking to someone or thinking of someone who you maybe you work with, you have mutual friends in common or something like that, uh, it may be the best icebreaker for some of you guys just to kind of be like, hey, me and the gang are going out for dinner after work or whatever. Would you like to come with us in a group setting? That may be like your easiest foot in the door here, okay? If you're too, if you are too, the one who's too nervous to say more. Because I kind of feel like it's a mutual thing to the two of you. Like they don't know if it's like a good time or there's other obstacles or what people are going to say about it. And then for you, you're just like, okay, but does this person actually like me? Because I'm getting like mixed vibes kind of thing. But it's like, you know, that when you're able to spend time with this person in like a different environment, it's what's really going to move things, progress things for the two of you. You're going to be able to talk, open up more. It's just going to be a lighter conversation. You've had a lot of uncertainties though. You definitely could be dealing with a Pisces or Cancer energy, but I also feel like there's a fear element to this. It's like, well, what if I've just dropped this up in my head? What if they don't really feel the same way? You know, if they just keep leading me on because of X, Y, or Z, or why, you know, what's their situation? Maybe they're talking to someone else, or what if they have feelings for someone else, or what if, what if there's things that I can't see coming kind of thing? Because you definitely don't want to waste your time. And I'm seeing that here because we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So, you know, your intention here, your forward moving energy, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, that's earth energy. It's stable. It's grounded. It's sincere. It's committed. It's loyal. It wants to dedicate itself, right? It doesn't want to mess around. It's like you want to build a firm foundation for the future. It's not like... You're sitting here asking, you know, let's have Rome be built in a day kind of thing. This is the energy of, I just need to know that the time, energy, emotion, everything that I'm giving to this, it's not wasted efforts. That is eventually going to move in the right direction. That's what you want to know. You want stability, family, longevity, right? Now, in their energy. Now, we do have the true love card, which says this is a romance of a lifetime. So, they do understand this for what it is. They're feeling the same way about you. They definitely have deep emotions here. Uh, with the King of, of Cups, they think about you in a very loving way. Now, the King of Cups, male or female, doesn't matter. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The King of Cups loves very deeply. But sometimes, this is someone who's also very in control of their emotions. It's like when they want to express it, they will. And when they want to hold back, they will. Okay. This is also somebody who can be very empathetic, very understanding, like a good listener, someone who's really easy to talk to, get along with. Um, this is also someone who's very intuitive themselves, but it's like they're hesitant or nervous because they know what this connection is. And it's like when they finally give into this, they have to truly give it their all. And they've never really felt this way before or something. They're not of want to, they're kind of blocking or protecting their heart for some reason um, with this card. There could be like some some fear about people finding out about this connection. And again, it doesn't necessarily mean that someone's already committed. For some of you, it may resonate that way. Uh, for others of you, it very well could be that, you know, like I say, friends, family may not approve. They may not like this person. They may say, well, you guys come from different cultures or religions or backgrounds. This person was married before or this person's got kids or, you know, this is the situation. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. You guys work together. How could you just date your boss? This is a bad idea. You know, there's some fear of what people are going to say. Okay, what people are going to say about the situation. And with the temperance card, this is Sagittarian energy. This is in their intentions. Here you are. Gender irrelevant, okay? Infinity sign here. Like, they feel like this is meant to happen. You know, like, it's the two of you against the world forever. Like, you're going to be able to balance things out here. The strong connection. They feel it mutually. You know, I'm also getting like a really strong telepathic tie between two of you with this card as well. Um, temperance is about patience, healing, balance. I'm also hearing deep understanding. And I think this person intuitively knows that you like them, but they doubt themselves. So they doubt their intuitive abilities. Um, and then with this card here, we do have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, again, they want to spend time with you. Okay, I mean, I'm really feeling like 
you're both kind of wanting the same thing here. Like you both know that when you're able to spend time together, things are going to blossom, things are going to grow, you know, where the two of you can actually can build something. But it's like there has to be some kind of interfering energy that has to accept this or how do I want to say this? It's again, like I want to say, like if you guys are working together, it could be that, you know, HR has to know, you know, you have to be able to tell your friends and family, like the only way this situation is ever going to like push forward. It's like when the two of you can have like the talk about it, you know what I mean? That's kind of what I want to say. It's kind of like when it can be exposed or something. It, like, it, I don't even feel like it's necessarily a negative secret. It just feels like it's not really discussed or it's not really talked about or they want to be sure first or they want to know that you feel the same way first. But I do see you guys working together on something and I do feel like they want to tell people about you. And we do have a lot of communication here with the Eight of Wands. A lot of messaging, that kind of thing. We have the Two of Pentacles. Somebody making a decision about their future. You know, their stability, what they want. Now, I mean, for some of you, again, there could be there's fire energy here. Somebody could be decide, making a decision between you know a family, maybe they're already married or something, uh, and the Queen of Wands, you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy, where maybe someone's deeply attracted to someone, but they have ties to something else. For others of them, it's, if they're not committed to anyone else, either they, they are determined to move towards you. They want to build secure. They want to talk about that, okay? For others of them, if they are tied to someone else, um, they're torn because they have a decision to make between... You know, maybe you, who they feel deeply attracted to. This is your energy here. Um, and maybe a family, maybe kids, okay? But there's going to be a lot of talk about this. They do want to build this here, all right? This was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.